everyone. This is Live Life Well TV host Robert Landau with another episode of How to Be Okay When Things Aren't. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about speaking up. So this episode, as I said before, is entitled, well, it's all about speaking up. So we call it Speak Up, Speak Out. Why would we do an episode on speaking up and speaking out? Because often we choose not to speak up or speak out about important things that matter to us. All too often, well, let's put it this way. I think there are mostly two types of people. Uh, people who they'll let you know how they feel about stuff and they're not afraid to do so. They think it's important to express themselves and let their feelings known. Sometimes at the detriment of others, but the important thing is that they are speaking up and speaking out. And yet there are other people who, when they really need to speak out the most and let their feelings be known, they don't, they keep it in. Maybe it's because for fear of reprisal. Maybe it's because they feel like they're gonna be laughed at. Maybe it's because they don't feel that what they have to say, or even worse, they don't feel that they are important enough to speak their piece. I used to be one of those people. It's not only a senior thing, I was afraid of my own shadow. Uh, I was teased heavily and bullied in school to where I didn't feel like I was important, that I was constantly criticized and judged and berated. And that if you allow it to, can really damage not only your psyche, your mindset, your spirit, but your soul as well. Nowadays, I've totally flipped that, and I have found that it is so important to always let my voice be heard. Now, you have to temper it. I mean, you can't just go barging into situations and, and hurt people. My mother was a very good uh, mentor in always letting your feelings be known. My father did that, but he was very careful about who he spoke to and what he said because he didn't want to hurt people. But my mother just went full speed ahead. Also being mindful, but letting her feelings be known. Sometimes mm, a little too much. Here's a quick example. My mother was a, a modern dancer from Romania. She was a trained ballet a professional, but she chose to go into modern dance because she didn't want to have to dance on her toes all the time. So she became an accomplished modern dancer, but she always spoke her piece. Uh, and then she became a photographer when she retired from dancing. One summer, when I had a break between cruise ships that I was cruise directing on, I visited my parents in upstate New York, and it was there that my mother had a photo exhibition of her work. And so I went to help her hang her uh, creations, her photographs, in the gallery where these were going to be presented the next day. And as we were leaving, my mother and I to go back to the parking lot to get in the car after we set the whole gallery up with her, her uh, photos, uh, the executive director of the gallery's office was right by the main door of the gallery building. And it was glass, this lady's office, so you could see into it. And as we were passing her office, going to go through the front door to get into the car, uh, I noticed that my mother was not by my side and she had mysteriously vanished and I looked and she was heading towards the open door of the executive director's office. My mother had seen the executive director through the glass uh, talking to a lady in the executive director's office and the lady happened to have been smoking a cigarette and my mother was violently opposed to smoking. She knew how hazardous it was for one's health. She used to smoke incessantly and stop cold turkey. So did my dad many years before that. But my mother barged into the executive director's office and went right up to the lady who was smoking, who she didn't even know, and said these words. And I stood at the door in horror. My mother said, excuse me, don't smoke. 
you should really think about putting that out right now because it is hazardous for your health. Don't smoke. And I looked at the face of the executive director and then the face of that woman and their faces both looked like they were twins because they both looked like this. They weren't used to people speaking their mind. Now, the, the woman was gracious enough to my mother, both of them were, and said, thank you, Irene, uh, we will do. And by the way, the executive director introduced my mother to the lady because the lady had no idea who this woman was. And then we left. And I said, mom, you can't, in the car going home, you can't speak like that to people you don't even know. And she said, why not? Hopefully, I might have shocked her enough to do some good. You don't have to be like my mother. <laughs> I have a little bit of her in me, by the way. But think about this. Don't be afraid to speak up. As long as you're not hurting people or crossing over mm, borders, in a sense, let your feelings be known. It can be very healing. It can be very therapeutic. If you're upset about something, um, consider the source, go to the source, talk about it. Don't get emotional about it. Just talk about it. And you know what? There's a really good chance that making your feelings known will help not only the situation heal and mend itself, you will heal and mend in the process. Speak up, speak out whenever you feel it's most appropriate and don't get in your own way. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Speak Up, Speak Out host, Robert Landau, host of Live Life Well TV. We'll see you on the next episode of How to Be Okay When Things Aren't. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, if you resonated with it, please give the video a like. And also please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with all the motivation I will continue to share with you. Thank you.